Today it's somebody's birthday. Yep, it's our cat's birthday. One year old today. Last year it was Good Friday that they were born on. But um, today's it. One year old these guys are. I can't believe it's been a year. It's amazing. Good old polar bear. And Blaggy. And little Skittle. And Oreo. Hi, Oreo. And Leamy. And Mama Skittle. She's been in the house a year. And it was a year ago she decided to have her kittens in this closet. Right down in there. And it was only two days ago that she got out. And it looked like she was going to be an outdoor cat again. But you get scared and came back in, huh, Mama Skittle? So pretty crazy. It's been a year and these guys have really changed our life a lot. <laughs> a lot of our life revolves on taking care of these cats. And we're still working toward being able to still go out and... Uh, take some trips out in God's creation and do some filming out there. But we're going to need to have something worked out where they are in a place that, I don't know, that somebody can come and take care of them when we're out on a trip. But we haven't figured that out totally yet, so we can only make like day trips right now. But these guys have really allowed us to meet a lot of people that are into cats. Right, polar bear? Today's the day. Grandma gets to break out a skilled nursing today. It'll be fun. Let's go see if she's excited. I hope she's feeling good. Hope she got good rest and ready to go. Ready to pack her up and take her to her new home. It appears that the cats have finished playing with their toys. Now I think it's time for them to take a little nap. Yeah, I think they're done partying and playing for their birthday for now, so be quiet. Let them take a nap. It's the time that they don't get in trouble. It's the grandma cam. She's checking out her new place. Oh. <laughs> Keep, oh. Follow me. Yeah, let's see what Matt's got going out here on his scooter today. Let's see what kind of new tricks he's working on. doing a little bit of uh, POV filming here. So here we go. Whoa, oh. Whoa, oh. Hmm. Didn't get it fast enough. Kind of ran into the cameraman there, dude. Sorry. Sorry, cameraman. 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 <laughs> 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 okay, see if we can get a good shot of Matt here on his scooter. See if I can stand up. This is a little shaky here. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Okay, this thing gets really wobbly here. Do you want me to do that while you're filming? Yeah, come over here. Can you get it? Okay. Go ahead and film me coming down. Hello, sir? You filmed that? You have to jump, just so you know. You have to jump. This thing is so wobbly. 
There's no way not jumping. That was good, Dad. Okay, yeah. Five, Dad. With Bam. my uh, partial shoe. Yep. <laughs> But now you can tell me, what do you think, Grandma? Well, it looks nice. Yeah? Well, if there's anything you want to, well, not furniture probably, but any, like, of your personal stuff that you want to relocate somewhere else or move, we can do that. But otherwise, it's pretty much in the same spot where it was. Except, actually, your, your chest of drawers, those drawers might not be in the same order they were. <laughs> So if there was a, an order, then we can fix that. Just had a iMessage conversation with Jennifer over at her grandmother's new place. And um, unfortunately, she's kind of not sure how she feels about it, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, Jennifer just put her heart and soul in that place, finding the place, a lot of work into finding the right place, the best place, and then trying to fix it up in a way that she would like it and feel like she's at home and uh, made little signs for her and everything. But, but I guess also grandma's not feeling so good today. So hopefully um, she will like it, especially after all that work and heart Jennifer put into it. So it was one of your longer days, hon. So Yeah, so checking out a sailor wasn't any big deal. But she was full on laying down in the bed sleeping. And um, she didn't even really seem to know that today was breakout day. And um, she, didn't, she didn't feel good. She thought maybe she had a cold, but I didn't hear any snottage or anything, but she's tired. But then her roommate talked about that she, um, she stayed out of the room for two nights. I, I don't know if it's just because her roommate was talking too much or she was sick or what the deal is, but grandma's not a happy camper. <laughs> anyway, today she's not very happy camper. And, um, so... I had lunch with her, so she used the Hemi cane to get out of the car. A little stiff getting out of the car today, and she walked into the foyer of the new facility and like sat down for a little bit, and then I took her about halfway to her apartment down the hall, and that would just seem like that was as far as she could go. She was like tired out, and um, <laughs> she noticed at first she said, tell me we're not going to the end of this hall. And I said, no, we're not going to the end of the hall. But um, she still was tired out. So we were just squeaking in for the end of lunch. And so I took her to lunch, but she wasn't feeling very good. So she didn't really eat very much. And then she took a nap after lunch. And then they came in and the caregiver took her to dinner. And, um, which I thought was good, shifting, letting the caregiver kind of work with her, get to know her, uh, and vice versa, and, um, took her down to dinner. And, but then everybody else was, like, sitting together, and my grandmother was just sitting by herself. So, I don't know. So hopefully that won't continue, but grandma's not having a very good day. And, but hopefully she'll adjust quick. Well, that was kind of a little disappointing after all the work and all the heart that you put into getting her that place. And then she's kind of like, kind of didn't sound like she was really showing all that much enthusiasm or even knew that she was going over there. That part doesn't, the whole like, you know, getting her unpacked and set up and maybe not being like, oh, you know, that's okay. I, you know... I understand that it's an adjustment to go from one place to the next place and then you're not really feeling very good. So I believe she's in a place that's uh, it's clean and there are people that care a lot and many people, not just one person, but everybody in area, every area that will be dealing with her made sure that they went over and they introduced themselves and explained how they uh, would be involved in her life 
And so that was really neat. So I know she's in a good place. Um, she's, I think, just going to have to adjust. So even the, so I felt bad that she was at dinner. She was sitting by herself. She really wasn't very hungry. Um, but I think she just needed to. She just needs to get used to getting up and out. And she's in the wheelchair right now. And that, that bothers me. Because uh, she had been up with the hemicane. Not a lot. But to get up and go to physical therapy, she was doing really well at that. And I noticed, uh, and in the times before, I saw her use her hemicane to go to the restroom. But this morning, when she got up to go to the restroom before we left, she put herself in the wheelchair and wheeled over. So I don't know if somebody convinced her that that's the way she needs to do it. And so she thinks she needs a wheelchair or what. But hopefully, Lord willing, uh, they'll get her snapped out of that in assisted living. And I think they will. Because, uh, in fact... Instead of leaving her wheelchair like out front or in um, uh, in the bathroom, which I wasn't fond of, because um, it's this big mondo thing, um, they're putting it in in uh, another room, so she would have to ask for it. So my hope is after a couple of nights good rest, hopefully she will like snap out of it. And she's done this before. She's had times where. She got moody and I thought something was seriously wrong. And then I go back the next time and she's just fine. So I think today's just a bad day for Grandma. And it's unfortunate that it was on moving day. But tomorrow's a different day. So did she say anything at all about the room or anything? About how it was set up or it's anything? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You know, it's all right. If you're feeling grumpy, it's kind of hard to like feel excited if you're just, if you're just not feeling it. You know, and it's okay. Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for today. So, thanks for hanging out with us again. And we really appreciate you guys hanging out with us and watching our videos. See you next time. Don't forget to say happy birthday to the cats. Good night, guys. God bless you. It didn't seem like we did much for our kittens for their birthday, but they got a new box and I think they like it. Oh, there she is. Is that me this time? Mm hmm. That's funny. Earlier happy birthday, birthday box.